welcome back guys to another video and today we are on the way to check out a charger that I checked out before and I didn't have a very good experience with it so if you want to watch that video first I'll leave a link up here so just click there watch that first and then you can come back to this video um, but yeah um, we're gonna be looking at shell recharge again um, there is a new location in a different uh, at a different gas station than the previous one that I went to um, and it promises to be actually quite good uh, because the reviews here I'll put it up on plug share um, are a 10 so that means people are charging but it seems to be empty most of the time simply because it's very very expensive I think it's like $26 I'll put up the price here once I check it out for 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 you guys on plug share yeah but I think it's like $26 per hour of charge which is tremendously expensive um, but anyways let's go check it out battery is uh, as conditioned as I can get it so I've put winter mode on even though it's hot outside it's 22 degrees outside right now battery is at a 25 to 24 degrees um, which for this car it should be good enough to start charging pretty fast my only issue is that I have a pretty high state of charge around 30 something percent but anyways uh, that should be enough to get at least a little bit of uh, the max speed on the old Kia which is um, around 70 right so let's have a look see if it actually works because last time I had issues right so we'll find out if it works and if it doesn't then we should be arriving there quite soon it's not very far from here and I'm uh, I'm interested to see so let's see if this shell recharge session will actually work these are the chargers slightly different than the ones that I experienced the first time I tried to shell recharge so um, let's have a look at some of the stats here that we have so right now my battery is at 31% so like I said not ideal but uh, that's the best that I can do for today um, the temperature is 26 max 24 minimum um, this car charges fast which means 70 something 76 max starting at around 21 22 so we should be good there um, and the outside temperature is 23 um, I did turn on winter mode when I was coming here on on the Kia so I'm gonna turn it off now for charging so it doesn't take um, extra um, uh, resources while, while it's uh, DC fast charging so that's off and then of course we got to turn off HVAC as well so yeah let's have a look and see what happens and uh, what kind of speeds we get so we're starting at 34 kilowatt let's see if this improves we're at 32 but what's funny was the app sucks. The app didn't work at all. So thankfully I have my old Green Lance RFID, which then I scanned over here and I was able to charge. But yeah, it's ramping up a little bit. Anyways, right now we're doing much, much better than we did before because before we couldn't even start a charge. So this is already a win with Shell Recharge. So it says here, you can either use the app or the RFID. The app sucks, just use the RFID, way better. But let's see if we can go beyond 53, or if this is the max that we're gonna get. Just popping inside to have a look at what we have on our display. So yeah, we're doing 52.32, it's keeping pretty steady. And we're pulling 362 volts, 153 amps, yeah, so. Not great, but better than before, definitely. And the car is saying to me, 70. Oh, 70, okay, so we jumped to 70. 73, and you guys can see 26, 25 on the battery temp there. But yeah, 73 is not too bad at this state of charge. Usually I wouldn't be getting um, as much as I am getting right now. So that's good, that's good, that's good. Not too bad. Now I can kind of see why this location is getting um, uh, you know 10 stars or a rating out of 10 and let's see what the what these ones are though I, I think that they're ABB, but let's have a look. Yes, indeed. They are ABB chargers So you guys can see that the output on the CCS is up to 920 volts from 200 920 Anything here? Oh, nothing Yeah, and then they were made in Italy 
so I guess that's good. Let's see what the other one is. Uh, probably the same thing. This is the AVB Terra 184. So let's see if the other one is the same. Quick check in on the display here. At 36%, we're pulling 74. The fastest I ever got with this car was 78. So this is already a win in my book. So quite good. And if we've got a cooling starting. So that means that the car is taking as much power as it can. And then the charger is providing that power to, to the vehicle. So very good. Yeah, the other installation is exactly the same. I don't remember what the other ones were. I think they were also ABB, but much older versions. Um, so I'm guessing that these ones are a bit more reliable since they're working quite well. And of course, both installs have Chatamo and CCS as it is standard. So you have your RFID scanning thing. Unfortunately, no pay by card, but you know, the screen is fine. And both units have CCS and Chatamo. So obviously I'm using uh, CCS here for today. And then this connector is exactly the same one that uh, FreeWire uses on their um, their chargers that uh, I've checked out on the channel twice now. And of course it is, it's a shell, so the location is quite good. So we've got the two chargers right there. You've got your car wash right there. You've got your store if you need to. And then in the back there, it's a Starbucks. So if you want to get a coffee while you're charging. Wow, so noisy. Go ahead and go get that coffee. And this is the main road here in Langley. And just there is highway number one, like a minute away, basically. So if you're driving and coming off the highway, this is the perfect location. And then also tire inflator, vacuums over here, if you need it. So yeah, not bad. The only thing though is, is the price, right? So uh, we'll see how much I paid to be here. I, I plan to be here until 80, just to see how it is. If you guys want to know why I'm driving an electric car, look at these prices. That's per liter in Canadian dollars. Super expensive. Super, super duper expensive. That's why electric makes sense. Even if it is $26 per hour to charge, but at least it works, so I don't mind. Okay, so we're fluctuating now between 75 and 76. And I think that this is the best we're gonna get on this kind of battery. Um, you know, because the state of charge is already pretty high. We're almost reaching 50, which is gonna slow things down. But yeah, 76 on the car, that's pretty good. That is up there with what I expect from like Electrify Canada, Electrify America. And now we have 77 actually. <laughs> so 77 was the highest I've seen. All right, but that's what the car says, right? So it's not exactly what we're getting in the battery. But this is very good to see. Uh oh, charging has stopped. So I have to unplug and then see if I can plug back in again and uh, continue charging. So we plugged in again. Once more, I had to use the RFID because the app didn't work. And let's see if we can start charging again. There's clicks and clicks and clicks. We'll see, we'll see. Yep, and there we go. I guess my something must have just happened. Not sure what it was. But that's okay. But that's okay. Okay, so it works. We're back up. So let's see how fast we will get to 80. I'll calculate the first charge and then the second one and I'll give the total at the end. We just crossed 71%. And we're still rocking and rolling at 59 kilowatt, but actual state of charge is only 69.5, right? So um, there's always that, but still pretty good. So um, it's in line with every other charger that I've tested. So I'm happy about that. So now we've hit 70 for real. And I think we're gonna start dropping here. Yep, there we go. And now we're to how much, 37? Yeah, again, that's the norm. So we have about, it says here, nine minutes left until 80. So that's when I'm gonna unplug. We've got four minutes left. We are at 78% on the car, but actual we are 75.5 um, on the battery and we're getting around 23.7 right now. So yeah, that is pretty much the standard for the Kia Soul EV. Um, this one and any other charger is the same. So almost done, four minutes left. 
after I unplug, I'm going to give a quick summary. But so far, I have to say, it's been better than the first time. And we are done. So we've hit 80%. Let's have a look. Yep, all done, all done, all done. So now let's get this one out. Uh, put it up here. Okay, nothing to touch there, everything's off. So now just replace these things. All right, close it up and here we go, done. All right, so not too bad. So now let's hop in the car and uh, let's go through a summary of what we've experienced here today. Oh, and one more thing. I really like these wires that uh, help you move the cable because the cable being really thick, it's really heavy. So, and it's very hard to bend. So it's good to have these because you can do things with one hand and you don't need two hands if you're busy doing something else. So that's a, that's a benefit. Okay, enough. Let's get in the car and time for summary. Based on my first session ever with uh, Shell Recharge, which again, if you haven't seen the video, I'll put it up here. Um, this is a much better session. Obviously we actually got to charge and we charge up to 80, which is also very, very good. I'm happy about that. Um, location is good right off the highway number one highway very very good amenities like I said there's a Starbucks there's a Tim Hortons there are vacuum cleaners um, you know the dispensers seem to be quite new ish um, at least from the way they look I'm not sure if they've been manufactured recently or not but yeah I think overall it's a good product but here is the issue right and we were talking about pricing, right? So this charging session cost me, because I had to stop and plug in again. So the total price was $17.94 Canadian. So I'll put it up in, in the US. That's expensive. Um, you can pay less charging on Electrify Canada and you're getting the same speed and all of that. So. It is an expensive proposition. So Shell is banking on, I don't know the name maybe, that people will wanna go and, and charge. But uh, apart from that, they're not being very competitive. I guess they also don't need to be. They still make a lot of money selling gas, right? And then the whole charge took us 36 minutes and five seconds. Remember we plugged in at um, around 32, 33. I'll put exactly from where to where. Uh, on the bottom um, so that's also you know in line with everything so I don't have an issue with the speed I don't have an issue with the location um, dispenser even though they're ABB pretty reliable in this location my only issue is that pricing right pricing is not competitive so will I come back only if I have to if I'm in a location where Shell recharge is the only game in town then for sure but um, honestly, right now, there's so many other options um, that you can pay less and get the same thing and be probably even more reliable, right? Because this is the only location apart from the other one that works. So the reliability is like 50% right now, yeah? Um, so yeah, based on that, I think I will choose other providers over Shell Recharge. But anyways, it's there if you need it. If you're on the highway traveling and that's the only game in town, like I say, do it, pull in and, 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 and have a good charge. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks so much. If you liked the video, make sure you like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I will like you to subscribe. It really helps the channel. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Goodbye.